What's up, cool cats and kittens? It is Uncle Mad here. The time of filming, it is December 31st, 2020. We are into the final hours of what has been an absolutely disgusting, wretched, horrible excuse of a year. And as everybody knows, as soon as we move over to 1201 midnight tonight and the clock strikes on 2021 it all goes away and everything becomes better it's science that's how it works so one last vlog documenting the final hours of the worst year i was gonna say in human history but like maybe modern history is a better way to say it i'm sure like back in the days of like plagues and famines and prehistoric somewhere along there when dinosaurs ate people and there's gotta have been a worst year somewhere along the way in our modern times this is probably the worst year i would have to say but only a few hours left so one final vlog to document these last few hours obviously as with the rest of this year it's a very unusual new year's eve not gonna go out not gonna hit the town not gonna smash my face on a urinal at a my so-called band concert. Real ones know what that's all about. It's gonna be a mostly quiet day, but do have a few things planned. Starting out the festivities, the best way you possibly can start out any day by making a trip to Chick-fil-A to pick up some Chick-fil-A Jesus chicken. Not for me, for my wife, Jesta. Wonderful woman that she is. I've got lunch plans already, so it's basically the worst way to go to Chick-fil-A to go to Chick-fil-A knowing you're not getting anything for yourself because if I got anything right now, I would be spoiling my later lunch plans, which I'm very excited about, so stuck between a rock and a hard place, skip eating Jesus chicken now, ruin my appetite for later. It is what it is. I love my wife, so I do things like this for her all the time. It should be documented and noted as I am recording this, so first step on our massive exciting new year's eve 2020 picking up food for somebody else at chick-fil-a all right we are here we pre-ordered on the app to save time doing curbside and not going through the drive through even though the chick-fil-a drive through is super efficient has anybody made the joke yet that they should distribute the covid vaccine i think they have Okay, so the bag has been secured, as they say in the biz. Don't kill Jessica. That'll actually be a good test case for whether she write, uh, watches the vlog or not. If she comes in like three or four days from now and actually sees this and yells at me for eating one of her fries. Good test case. I'm gonna start doing that in all the vlogs. Put a did you watch this moment in each vlog. That's my resolution for 2021. Okay, so with the Chick-fil-A successfully delivered to Jesta, we are on to phase two of our unique New Year's Eve activities. Now this one's very unique for multiple reasons because it's a New Year's Eve activity because it's happening on New Year's Eve. But it was something I had originally envisioned being a like Christmas time event so I get to wear the Santa hat at least one more time to kind of take advantage of that. So I was listening to a podcast last year kind of in the build up to Christmas time and this guy was talking about you know he's him and his friends you know as everybody you get older you have kids you have dogs you have cats it's harder to make plans with your friends and find time to do stuff so you know they have one thing every year that they're 100 committed to and it's like an overindulgent just over the top christmas lunch where all the guys get together and order all the food they could possibly want order all the drinks they could possibly want they just don't hold back eat drink and be merry and just make sure they have that at least one time a year to get together so i was like that sounds awesome i want to start doing that and as noted it becomes harder and harder to plan things uh, somebody blowing up half your city and taking out the internet also makes it difficult to coordinate plans when 
60% of the people trying to get together are dependent on that particular service to communicate. So here we are now, New Year's Eve, the Christmas luncheon happening today. Now it's obviously, once again, unique year. Drink every time I say something about it being a unique year in this vlog. I was thinking, you know, oh, we'll go to like freaking some crazy over the top luxurious restaurant and just eat till we're pooping out the food and putting more in. Didn't quite play out that way, but we are going to one of my absolute favorite places to eat. So a bit of a win-win, not the luxurious, I don't know, steakhouse or whatever I had in mind, but it's a great place to eat. I love it and I'm excited about it. Party foul. Interesting. Alright, so yeah. let me figure out what I'm looking for. Do I want it? What do you get? It's a lot of food, that sounds good. The tenders, I think, are the way to go. But... What are piggy chips? Just like chips? That was like a peanut butter and jelly. <coughs> Wait, did you pour it in or did no, you? No, I just took a shot. And did not chase it with that? Yep, I'm not a drinker, so I know how you're supposed to do this, so I just... Oh. I drove to Bellevue though. I can't believe you drove to Bellevue. That's a, it's just a weird spot for that. Yeah. But the area, Tim, have you been out to Bellevue a long time? He's got the masks there. Oh, you want me to read this? Like I read it for Parker all the time? Here's our new New Year's Eve tradition. We're going to watch the whole damn trilogy. Nephew P is a small boy who's learning his words. I know how to read. Episode IV. No. All right, so we're basically doing a second Thanksgiving with all the leftover Thanksgiving food we had. Parker has decided he's a turkey leg man. Give us a taste test, Parker. What do you think? Nephew P. Good. Supposed to say bon apple teas. For some reason, Jess ran the Roomba as we were sitting down to eat. Great time. Huh? All right, here's the aftermath of our vicious New Year's Eve dinner. Fun fact, I don't know if it's a fun fact as much as it's just a fact. We had a canceled Thanksgiving celebration due to you know. And we had all this stuff left over that we never cooked, and so we cooked it tonight. So we basically had a Thanksgiving dinner for New Year's Eve. Parker's got a cat butt. Yeah, everybody sees that. Where's it go? Can we put it on now? No. We have to watch the trilogy tonight. I'm not watching the whole trilogy. No, you don't have to. Okay, I think we know what time it is. If you know, you know. And just like that, it is officially everybody's favorite holiday, Foo. Manchu Year's Eve. Hope you're celebrating wherever you are as well. Mission accomplished. Well, we've officially done it. I don't know if you can hear in the background, there's fireworks going off like crazy throughout the neighborhood. 2021 has arrived. All our problems are gone. Happy days are here again. Uh, 
as is tradition, I will be drinking some champagne. I'm not a drinker, but I've been informed that this is the finest champagne one can buy. So I went out and got me a bottle of this. I, I don't know anything about it, but here we go. Ooh. <clears throat> Gross. Happy 2021 to you and yours. A sincere thank you to anybody who has happened to watch any of these stupid videos that I've made this year. Weirdly, this vlog might be the one good thing that came out of 2020 because even though it was weird and not always entertaining, it kept me busy and kept me from being bored and going insane this year. So like I said, sincere thank you if you watched any videos, including this one, if this is your first one. Welcome, subscribe to the channel. There's gonna be more stupid crap coming. And we'll continue on into 2021 and hopefully beyond. So subscribe, hit the bell for notifications to make sure you don't miss any of these amazing, stupid, dumb, pointless videos that I'm making. Give it a thumbs up and a thumbs down. Here's a good idea for this video. In the comments down below, what are your New Year's resolutions? I feel like I said one at some point in time in recording this video, but I can't remember. It's been a long day. A lot is going on. Who knows? Happy New Year's to you and yours. May things be much better in 2021 than they were in 2020. Obviously, I'm going to drive that into the ground just like everybody else has. It's becoming the cliche at this point in time. <laughs> mm. I like this stuff. Do unto others as they would do unto you and don't stand so close to me. Happy New Year's. Happy Fu Manchu Year's Eve. Thought maybe I'd come out here and catch some of the fireworks going off, but weirdly enough, they are exploding, but not visible. A typical way to end 2020. You can hear fireworks, but can't see them. And I'm getting rained on. <laughs> Salud and happy new years, my friends. It is I, Joe Mad. Now, some of you may be asking where I've been. Most of you probably asking, who the heck is this? What the heck is going on? If you don't know who I am, go back, find my old videos on Uncle Mad's channel. You'll figure it out. Blah, 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 blah. Those of you who know me wonder where I've been. I was over on Uncle Mad's TikTok channel. I was giving out some best bets, some gambling tips, doing my thing over there. It was pretty fun. It was going well. Then I hit a bit of a losing streak. I lost my way a little bit. I did what anybody would do in that situation. I moved to my beach house to Tallahassee. Took some time off. Collected my thoughts, and now I'm back. I've been working with a documentary crew to film my life story. I've been studying how to gamble for dummies, so I'm gonna be back with some best bets over on the TikTok. It's gonna be a great year for Joe Mad in 2021. Join me, if you will, by subscribing here to the channel, because Uncle Mad is gonna post my content here. But also go check him out on TikTok at Uncle Mad or some jibber jabber like that. Happy New Year from Joe Mad. Do I say cut or do you do it? How does this end? I don't. We ain't done this in a while, God. Darn it. Mm. Good help, Brownie.